I'm Dave Edwards at Micron. This is Jared Holbert. And we're here to talk about why an all SSD vSAN makes sense. So Jared, performance is usually one of the first things we like to talk about when it comes to SSDs. Yeah. So when we look at a vSAN solution, um, the performance is, is really all about latency. Um, when, when we look at a uh, vSAN solution, we have a, we have a cache drive, um, and then we have a backing store, um, which is the hard drives. And, and there's, a, there's a big gap in the performance they can provide. So what happens is as long as your workload stays within, within this subset of your, of your uh, uh, storage that's, that fits inside the cache, your performance is great. It's like you leave that, boom. Yeah, because there's you no guarantee I'm running in my cache. That's right. And so what we're proposing is adding um, backing store that is a, a, a lower, lower cost uh, SSD than the cache, but still decent performance. And so you're going to see your performance is going to be going to basically remain very similar. I get it. So now that, that leads me to wonder about endurance because you know, with, a, with a SAS drive, what kind of work can I get out of a SAS drive in, in its lifetime? Yeah, so you know, endurance is one of those things that prevents people from even considering SSDs in these kind of situations. Especially client SSDs, But if you, if you right? do the math, it actually is, is, is a more compelling uh, than, than you might think. If you, if, if, if you take that, the SAS drive like you're talking about, regular old um, 10K hard drive, you, you can look them up and a good one's getting you somewhere on the, in the order of 400 IOPS. Um, if you do, you know, just do the math. How many seconds do you have during, a, say, a five-year lifespan for these things? Well, the worst workload for a flash drive is 4K. It's a 4K random operation. So if we say 70-30 uh, read-write ratio, uh, 4K operations, how many seconds in five years times the, times the 400 IOPS, you end up with about 70 terabytes. So 70 terabytes, this M500 drive at Micron is rated at 72 on the data sheet. Yeah. And that's at the worst workload you can possibly throw at it. Exactly. So you can't even write to the hard drives enough. Well, that's um, fantastic. To, to so blow the out next... our, our, less, our least endurance um, SSD. So the next port problem then is really it comes down to cost, cost. right? Cost, right. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of people say managers won't let me buy an SSD. They're too expensive. Um, you know, the hard drive we're looking at um, is going to cost you about 58 cents uh, per gigabyte. If you, I just looked them up on, on CDW, both these same vendor. Um, our drive's only 57 cents for Wait the SSD. A so at the similar cost, I get all these capabilities. So basically that leads me to question, why aren't you putting all SSDs in your vSAN, your data center, right now? You know, and we haven't even talked about total cost of ownership power, cooling, all those kinds of things. That's an excellent point. Yeah. If you have questions, come see us at the Micron booth at VMworld this year.